In this video, we will demonstrate how to clean up your geometry, your vectors that were exported from CarveCo. The reason we need to clean them up is because to use this geometry or these vectors inside of MasterCam to machine the design into our longboard, we have to bring into MasterCam clean geometry. And what does that mean? Well, we can't have duplicate geometry pieces on top of each other. We can't have overlapping geometry. There's a various other things that could happen, but those are the two most important. So we need to clean up our geometry. So what we're going to do is we're going to openbox.com. We are going to uh, open up an instance of the Internet. We're going to go to box.com. And we're going to log into our account. Now, one of the things I demonstrated at this point is I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to delete everything out of the downloads folder because this is a public computer lab, which means lots of people use the, uh, the computers. And so there could be 500 files in there. And you don't want to have to search through 500 files to find the file you downloaded. So we want to create as few as possible. So let's go to your uh, folder, wherever you keep your stuff. And once you're inside your folder, open up the CAD folder. And inside of the CAD folder is the Celtic Weave we've been using to demonstrate. So I'm going to right-click on it and go to Download. Okay, I can just left-click on it right here. Or I can go to my Downloads folder. And here it is right here. Either way. The reason I'm showing that is because sometimes, remember, if it doesn't open properly, you have to drop that onto the desktop. And once you drop it on the desktop, you go to AutoCAD, open AutoCAD, and then reach through AutoCAD to open the file. And I will demonstrate that again in this video. So we'll open the AutoCAD file with this icon right there. AutoCAD is opening. I can close that too. Once AutoCAD opens, I will go to the Open folder. I will go to my, if I click on PC, I'll go to my downloads, and there's my Celtic Weave. Now, AutoCAD might default to DWG, which would say, hey, it's not there. Well, that's because you didn't save a DWG, you saved a DXF. So I go down and select my DXF. There it is. I click on it, and I go to open. Now, the next problem that many of you will run into, you go, well, where's my image? It's, it's not there. Where's my, where's my vectors, my geometry? Well, all you need to do is type Z for zoom, A for all, and there it is. It'll bring it into place. So let me show you that again. So you type Z, hit enter, A, hit enter, and it will bring it into view. Now, remember, uh, the reason it's like that is because AutoCAD can create very large objects, very small objects, and so... The image was sum up over here in the left corner off of our monitor um, where it's not in an area we can see, so we had to bring it into that area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on up to the Explode icon. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to left-click and release, left-click again, and I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm going to explode this object. Then I'm going to go Overkill. No, that's not a Halo command. I'm going to left click, release, left click again, hit enter, and click OK. <clears throat> and as you can see, let me make my CAD just a little bit smaller. Uh, we had three overlapping zero duplicates. So I'm going to hit the space bar. That brings me back into overkill. Or I could type overkill again. I'm going to left click, release, hit enter, or left click again, I mean, then hit enter, then click OK. Now I have zero duplicates, zero overlapping. The last thing I'm going to do is left click, surround the object, left click again, put this on layer zero, and make sure that says layer zero, and hit escape. Now I'm ready to go to the save as file, click on desktop, and this time we're going to save it as a default AutoCAD 2018. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, I thought I opened AutoCAD 2023. You're right, you did. Um, but AutoCAD doesn't update how it saves the file and what it saves it as every time they do an update. Probably by the time they come out with AutoCAD 2024, which is probably out by now, 
it would then update to AutoCAD 2024. But it, it doesn't matter. I just didn't want you to be confused. So the other thing is you must control what you're naming it. Do not let the computer control what you're naming it. That will give you problems. The most the biggest problem students have is when they're loading images to their ePortfolio, if they don't control what the image is called, they will go to load an image and after they're done loading it, they don't see it anywhere. And that's because the image they loaded had the same name as a previous image that was already loaded. And so when they loaded the new image, it went, no, I can't do that. I'm just going to keep the previous one of the same name. Uh, and so you have to make sure you are controlling what the computer calls your file. So we're calling it Celtic Weave. We're saving it to the desktop. I'm clicking Save. I'm going to minimize AutoCAD. And here it is right here. Now there's some other things right here that are kind of shadowy. They will go away once we close AutoCAD. So I now have my DWG file. So I need to open up my box.com. Here's my CAD file. I'm going to make my box.com a little bit smaller. I'm going to drag my DWG file in. Now, we have a DXF file and we have a DWG file. You want to keep them both. The reason for that is, <clears throat> let's say this file corrupts. Something bad happens to it. Or you accidentally delete it. And you didn't save this one. Now you've got to go all the way back to CarveCo, re-export it so you can get back to this spot. So by keeping both of them, we don't have to worry so much about starting totally over if something goes wrong. And every year I have students who don't save their files. If something goes wrong and they have to start totally over. And let's not do that. So let's go back up to box.com and go over to your logout. We're going to log out of box.com. We're going to close that. <clears throat> We're going to close our AutoCAD file. There those shadowy files went away. And now we're going to delete off of the desktop everything that we created. And that's how you clean up your vectors or your geometry in AutoCAD.